I'm Paul Begley. This is the midnight hour. This is the midnight hour. Jesus said, In an hour you think not, the Son of Man will come. See, nobody knows the day nor the hour that he's coming. But remember when the children of Israel were exiting the land of Egypt, coming out from the grips of Pharaoh's hand? It was the midnight hour. The Bible says that God went over the land of Egypt, sending the tenth and final plague, the death of the firstborn, to every home that did not have the blood applied, the blood of a lamb, the blood of a lamb that was pure and without spot or any blemish, the blood of a lamb overtopped the doorpost and the side mantles of the house. And anywhere he did not see the blood, he brought the plague. The world is in trouble. Japan has been hit so hard. But they're not the only nation in trouble. People are being slaughtered in Libya right now, massacred and murdered in different countries of the world where evil regimes reign, whether it be communism or radical Islamic leaders or even corrupt democracies. People are being abused and murdered and robbed and taxed. And because iniquity ab abounds, the love of many is waxing cold. This is the midnight hour. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and... From the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. Isn't that comforting? <laughs> to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the lion the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Pray for the people of Japan. Pray for the people of the world. All, you know, I pray for all the people. <laughs> my heart's so heavy. These 70 days, these first 70 days, we have seen unbelievable things. This was, I was just reading to you out of Psalms. Psalms 91. But we've seen 5,000 blackbirds fall out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas and all the blackbirds in all the different countries around the world and all the fish that washed up on the shore of the Arkansas River or the Chesapeake Bay 
or Redondo Beach in California. We're talking millions of fish there. We saw 200 cows fall dead in Wisconsin. That fulfilled the Hosea prophecy. Yeah, we, we've witnessed the rioting of the Middle East. Twelve different nations are either rioting or protesting or overthrowing their governments, whether it's Tunisia, Egypt, Libya, or the others that will fall. We've watched the earthquakes, the floods, and the mudslides, and the devastation of natural disasters. Do you remember when the moon turned blue, a blue moon turned red on the winter solstice? Do you remember that day? It was my birthday, December 21st, 2010. Remember that? It was a winter solstice, a lunar eclipse, a, a blue moon that turned red all on the same day. First time that's happened in 6,000 years. Devastation now everywhere. Trouble and pain, currency crisis, high unemployment. The price of food is skyrocketing. Now the price of oil. Would you send me a personal message? This is the midnight hour, people. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I know the naysayers, the skeptics, the scoffers, are going around saying, I don't want to hear about God and the Bible. How dare you? I've, I've been called every name in the book here recently on some of my YouTube videos. It's the anger of the atheist. There's your AA for you. Angry atheist. Hate God and every They can't control. You know what their problem is? They are out of control. They can't control the situation. They realize that God is in control and they hate God. Do you want to be saved? This is the midnight hour. I'm Paul Begley. I am so serious, people. I'm not playing around. I'm being serious with you. This is the midnight hour.